In the last video I posted, I talked about the Instant Vap Compact and uh, these Instant Vap vaporizers and how effective they've been. I've had a couple of questions, first of all, about how you clean the machines, which is very important. And second of all, I've had a couple of questions about this mask that I use, this protective gear. So let me get this stuff off and I'll explain it to you. I'm away from the bees now. I just got done treating and they're leaving me alone a little bit. But while I do that, I'm going to let you see how, just how fast I treated 15 colonies out here using these two instant vaps together. So first I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to clean the machines. All right, it's very simple. The way I do it is I take the machine, you can get with it, both of these it works the same way. I still have it uh, pretty hot right here. I think Rob actually recommends you let it cool down some, but what I do, I pull the plunger out, and then you just take some simple water right here. Make sure you point it away from you a little bit before you do this, otherwise you may end up with a face full of boiling water. Just simply pour the water in the tip, And then I'll just dump it out. You'll notice the water is a little bit greenish or whitish in color. See how dirty that is? Just do that like two or three times. See that? And you do it until the water comes out basically pretty clear. You can even take the battery off before you do it. See how clear that water is now? That's better. It's right here, pretty much clear. And there you have it. 
Now, if it's the end of the day, I'll put just a little bit of water in there and then I'll, I'll just basically let this temperature gauge increase almost as if it's treating a colony. On this one that has the temperature gauge, you know, it'll go up to boiling, which is about, I think it's like 212 or something. It actually says like 215 or whatever it is on here. And it'll stop and you'll see the water basically steaming out. And then when the temperature starts going back up again, let's see right here, see it's gonna go up to two, uh, about 212, 215, something like that. It may not be an exact temperature here. You see it's starting to steam out of the end right here. That's just the water boiling off. And you'll notice it stops 216, 217. So we'll let it just stay there until you see that temperature start to rise up and then you know all the water has boiled out of there. And that's how I, at the end of the day, that's what I do. But between yards, you can clean it out uh, each time. So that's all there is to cleaning up the instant bath. It's really simple. Just pour a little water in there facing away from you. And dump it out. See how it's kind of green? We didn't treat very many colonies. We treated 15 total. So that's about seven or eight per machine. So. If you, you could treat 30 or 40 colonies probably with each one before you clean it. You just kind of have to play that by ear, whatever you think. And uh, it'll be really green then. I, I kind of like to just do a quick clean. It's a good idea between yards, between each bee yard. And then you know you got a, a clean product between, unless you're just doing a couple of colonies. Now I'd like to address the mask that I use. It's an RZ uh, mask from RZ Industries. Uh, the important part of this is the filter you use. It's a F3 high flow active carbon filter. Um, now that is, from what I understand, that's what pulls those uh, organic fumes out of the air, what keeps it from getting into your nose. Uh, admittedly, I do catch a whiff of the axolic acid vapor occasionally, and uh, this filter is it's kind of split in here like this, and the filter is the most important part of this thing. Sometimes it's a little hard to get it to seal around your nose, you gotta really work at it. And so that's one thing that, that I have to um, be careful of. I usually walk away from the fumes anyway when it's going, um, but for the most part, the mask has been okay for me. Disclaimer here, I am not recommending you get one of these. I've simply had some questions about what I use, and so I wanted to explain what it was. Most people use the 3M respirators with the pink cartridges. Once again, carbon filters, and that's important um, that you use that carbon filter. So um, this works for me. I'm going to be like Mike Berry here and say this is a how I do video, not a how to video. Do your research, really look into this thing. If you feel safe, if you want to give it a shot, you know, it works for me, hope it'll work for you. If you don't feel comfortable with it, then just stick with the standard equipment. I'm not telling you what to do, or I'm not even recommending this product. It's also important, I think, to change out your filters fairly often. I don't do it probably as often as I should. So I thought I'd do this quick little video, show you how fast it is to treat these colonies out here with two of these instant baps. We treated 15 colonies from the time we pulled up in the yard I shot, a, I took a, a short video of what time it was until we, until I finished my last treatment it was 26 minutes. And that includes turning the machines on, getting them warmed up. It includes uh, setting up the camera equipment so I could videotape it. It includes putting on my protective gear and then treating the colonies. You'll notice too, I took a screwdriver to kind of pry the frames apart in the app maze. I'm still trying to figure out a way that I really like. Uh, treating those things, but that seems to work okay. There's got to be a better way. I know Rob has a little adapter you can put on there as well, and I've got one of those, but this way seems to work fine. Looking forward to the new year. It's going to be a great year. Y'all take care. Uh, we'll catch you next time.